What is going on guys? Victor here and today I have the ultimate trash fish taste test. This right here is a barracuda. A lot of people fear this fish because they got some pretty gnarly teeth but a lot of people fear to eat this fish because number one when you catch them they smell really bad but a lot of people have told me that the flesh the meat is really really white and as you guys know I am not afraid to try so-called trash fish. We've been Jack Cravels on this channel before, Bonita, all sorts of stuff so you guys are about to see some footage from a recent Keys Bridge trip I had with a couple buddies. I'll let that play and then I'll meet you guys back at the flay table. Okay. This barracuda catch and cook is happening guys. All right take three. See if we can make it happen this time. Oh he already got it. It's a little guy though. Come on. All you did was slash up my bait. Oh he got it. I think that's that same one. Finally. I can't catch a barracuda to save my life. So I switched it up. I put a treble hook on because I can't tell you how many kudas I've missed and it is just getting ridiculous. It's just frustrating. You can't let him eat it that long with, without wire and we don't have any wire. So you got to make do with what you got. You're not going anywhere this time, buddy. You get a net? Finally, the treble hook worked. Say that again. When you, tar when you try to target a fish, it's the hardest thing to catch. When you don't, when you don't want to catch kudos, you can't get enough. And then, when you try to catch them, gotta get lucky and just hook them right in the corner of the mouth that's it that's all there is to it but that's the problem it's a lot easier said than done this is horrible i have walked so many sets of pilings with a really really frisky thread fin which was getting smoked all day long by the kudas and tarpon oh there we go there we go kuda found them Barracuda catch and cook. This fish, which so many people deem a trash fish, and uh, it's probably right in the slot size too. Dinner, son! You guys, I've never in my entire life been so happy to catch a cuda as I am right now. We've lost, no lie, probably close to 30 between the three of us. Between the bottom rods, between the cuda tubes, between flatlining, we have no wire, but I mean, we've landed plenty of cudas back in the day without wire. We finally got one right over here. And check that out. The tread is right at the tip of his mouth and my mono, my floral leader, is right at the edge of his teeth too. So that was very, very close to coming out too. And these guys, Never in my day did I think that there was going to be a slot on Barracuda. There's less and less of them. People were using them for sword baits. A lot of people were killing them. A lot of people were consuming them for food. And there's actually a slot size on Barracuda now, which is 15 to 36 inches. Two per person per day. One of which could be, what, 36 inches or greater. So you can keep whatever size you want as long as it's above 36 inches. And then your second one can be between 15 and 36, which is... I never in my lifetime would have thought that there'd be a restriction on Barracudas. So we're going to flay this little Barracuda up. You know... I can see why people call them a trash fish because when you do catch them, they have this very odd odor to them. And I don't know why that is, but they definitely do smell when you first catch them. But other than that, I really don't know why they're labeled as a trash fish. When we're in the Bahamas, the Bahamians, they absolutely love these things. You know, every time I've been to the Bahamas and we catch barracuda, the people that I'm with, they think it's bycatch. And we usually keep fish like the snapper, the dolphin, the tuna. And we usually give these away to the locals and they love it, you know? They don't turn their nose away from this fish whatsoever. And as I'm making these first cuts, you guys, the meat is very, very white. 
check that out. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't smell certainly. I think it might have to be their skin that kind of smells when you first catch them. And I've noticed it with certain fish, like a Toro snapper, those fish that I've eaten before with the big eyeballs. We catch them all yellow tailing and they have a really bad odor to them too when you first catch them. But the flesh of the actual fish is not bad at all. So look at this guy right here. There's one slab. Don't tell me that doesn't look appetizing. Barely any blood, barely any guts, nothing there. It's just a clean little filet. And I think another reason that people are afraid to eat this fish is because they're associated with ciguatera. So ciguatera is a disease that bigger fish usually get with biomagnification and it can make you really, really sick. A lot of islanders get it, and it's usually more prevalent in big fish and big barracudas, you know, they're really big predators, and they tend to eat almost anything, you know, anything that looks appetizing to them. So when they eat all those little fish, they get that biomagnification of the ciguatera. Barely any bloodline. I mean, I filleted mahis before with a bigger bloodline than that. I filleted mutton snappers before with a bigger bloodline than that. Honestly, it looks like a snack fillet. It kind of does, doesn't it? It kind of does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Really white with that really small bloodline. Yeah. So Brooke actually just said, she's the one filming right now, that it looks like a snook filet. And I didn't even think about that, but it does. And one thing that definitely resembles a snook filet is the fact that it's very firm. I've been noticing that too. The meat of this fish is extremely firm. Not mushy whatsoever. And it looks really, really good. I guarantee you it's going to be a big hit at the dinner table. So there we go, you guys see it. Good, clear meat. Let's see if there's anything in a stomach real quick. I always like to do a stomach check. And there stomach. is... Some kind of little Yeah, the tail section of some type of fish. Looks like the midsection. The rest of his belly's empty, but I'm telling you guys, there's barely any guts, barely any blood. Not fake news, real news right here. That's a little piece of barracuda. I'm gonna give it a go. Tastes no different than any other sashimi I've ever had. Buttery texture, firm, really, really good. Not fishy whatsoever, not oily whatsoever, and certainly not the smell that you get when you first catch barracuda. And he's going for his last swim. All right, guys, welcome back to the kitchen. It is voiceover time. Really quickly though, I gotta thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Just giving me the time of day and for you guys to come in and week after week and just support the channel. Seriously guys, it means a lot to me. So what I'm doing with this Barracuda Catch and Cook is kind of just a simple recipe. We're gonna be making a salad and as you guys see, I have been using a ton of Greek yogurt in my videos. And the reason for that is because it's a really good way to make sauces, dressings, it serves as a really good base for a sauce or a dressing. So I'm making a cucumber style salad dressing. I did half of a cucumber with the skin off, half of uh, one lemon, the juice, some black pepper, and you guys saw the Greek yogurt. It was just one of the little containers. The full fat, not the fat free kind because you do want some fat in there, as well as some olive oil to give it a creamier, uh, more consistent texture so it's not too thick. And let me tell you guys, Phenomenal, very easy, very simple, and way better than store-bought salad dressing. We got the romaine going into the stainless steel bowl, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I eat red onion in salad, I do not like giant chunks. I like as thin possible, I like as thin as possible pieces, so I go ahead and I slice them real thin, and then I cut them in half, put that into our salad, and now tomato, on the other hand, I like a little bit of a thicker tomato cut, so thicker than you would make for a salsa or a little sauce. Just go ahead and cube up the tomato and we're gonna go ahead and add that to the stainless steel mixing bowl. And seriously guys, these kitchen cooks have really opened up my eyes. You guys hear me say it over and over again, but just cooking up things like Barracuda, Jack Carvel, Bonita have really opened up my eyes and allowed me to share my my kind of experiences with you guys on the whole trash fish topic because there really is no such thing as a trash fish. It all comes down to freshness, how you cook it, and like I always say, no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. So you guys see me finishing off this salad with some black pepper, some pink Himalayan salt, as well as olive oil. Really easy salad, and this is just going to serve as our veggies for our dish. Now on to the feta cheese, also a really good way to just spice up the salad. Go ahead and mix that through. I don't know why I mixed it before I put in the feta, but other than that. 
So now we, for our grain of choice, our carb of choice, I went ahead with pita because it's gonna be used to dip into our salad dressing and just that's our carb of choice. Now here come our barracuda fillets into the stainless steel mixing bowl. And this is actually a really good way to not waste a lot of the blackened seasoning because you can kind of just, you know, smush everything up in that bowl. You don't get any of the waste on a, on a plate. Olive oil garlic mixture for our pita bread that you guys just saw that is going to be used to dip in about half a stick of butter, which I think is four tablespoons, very high heat, medium high heat. Our blackened fillets go in here and I've noticed, and well, I guess this is the proper way to do it. When you blacken something, you want to cook it on very high heat, very fast, not too thick of fillets. You want thinner fillets of fish because if you have too thick of fillets, you're going to char the outside, the inside's not going to be cooked, and you're just going to have a big mess. Look at that. Golden brown, beautiful color. You get that little bit of crisp. Do not discard that butter. That stuff is love. You guys got to put that, pour that all over your fish. Now we put our salad into the middle of our plate and uh, as well as the salad dressing. And you guys see the consistency. It's not too thick. It is more definitely a salad dressing type consistency, thinner, more waterier. I don't know if that's the right word. Go ahead and dress it up with our blackened barracuda fillets. And I'll tell you guys what, some of the best fish I ever had once again. Don't knock it till you try it. You guys gotta try it. Next time you get skunked in whatever you're trying to target, take that barracuda home. Okay guys, my grandma's not feeling like talking. She's a little sick today, so she's not gonna say much, but so I told my family, cause they're not fishermen. They're not very aware of culture, of fishing and everything. And I told them that barracuda are trash fish, are so-called trash fish, all people throw them back. And this is my world famous grandma on YouTube who always tells me that nothing ever tastes fishy. So did this fish taste fishy? No. Not, not at all, right? No, not at all. It's very good. Very good. It's very good only. I'm sick. I, I can't finish. You know. It's very good. Very tasty. Good. What about you, Dad? What do you think? Very good. Very tasty fish. White meat. Yeah. No muddy. Good texture. You can't tell the difference between this and anything no. else, right? No. no. Yeah. I'm surprised people don't like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. fish. Victor has a saying on his channel, there's no trash fish, just trash cooks. And this goes to show it. Barracuda is supposedly a trash fish. I have had it before, but this was great. It tastes like any other white meat flaky fish. It was great. This homemade salad dressing was really good. Everything was just really good. So good job, Vic. Thank you. You guys heard it. There are no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. I want that to be the motto of this channel. I want that to go throughout all these catch and cooks and barracudas. They have this stigma. They have this stereotype against them that they're trash. They're a poor man's fish, which couldn't be further from the truth. Um, we didn't eat a baby. We didn't eat a giant. We ate a normal sized barracuda and it was delicious. The texture was on point, everything. And it's just another trash fish we can knock off the list. There's still a lot to go because Florida does have a wide variety of species, but <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching this video and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next trash fish taste catch.